Hey Aries, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. Yeah, I'm coming back to do your readings. What's going on with you this week? Aries, someone rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, what's going on with Aries? What's going on with Aries? What do they need to hear and know? Three of Cups. Ooh, fun, dancing, celebrating. Mmm. Having a good time. Okay, all right. Three of Cups. Um, you could be pouring it up, drinking, dancing, celebrating, having a good time. Okay. Ace of Swords. You could be starting something like fun, brand new. Could be dating. Mm. I feel like the start of something new, something fun. You could just be starting to have fun again in your life. Like, I don't know. We just you know, barely came into September. So some of you could be excited, excited about the fall, excited about fun events, even. Ace of Cups. Ace of Swords, now Ace of Cups. Yeah, some of you are starting something new. Mm-hmm. Maybe you've been a hermit. You've probably been staying indoors a lot or some of you haven't been going out as much, maybe in the past. And maybe as of late, there's been a shift. I feel fun. This feels fun. Fun energy coming through. Aries, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. So far, that's what I'm getting. Let's see what else is coming through for Aries. Show me. Ooh. Show me. The Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups just flew out in reverse. Whoa. I'm laughing at how it shot out like that. Okay, what is that Queen of Cups in reverse? What's going on? What's going on? What is going on? Okay, mm. what's going on? Death card, Scorpio's energy. Some of you could be celebrating releasing a Scorpio. We do have their energy with the Queen of Cups and the Death card. You could be getting over a Scorpio or have gotten over a Scorpio for some of you. Ooh. So for some of you, um, a Scorpio could be hiding feelings. We have the Two of Cups with the Six of Pentacles. Ooh, okay. Some of you, <laughs> let me say this. Some of you, it's like you had to ignore your feelings or you tried to ignore your feelings for a while. And now you're being more open. Uh-huh. Now you're being more open to sharing feelings, sharing emotions. Some of you could be thinking about starting something brand new. Show me that Ace of Swords, please. Ace of Swords. Seven of Wands is here. Page of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Somebody has something to say. It could be an Earth sign. What do they want to say? They're trying to figure out how to say it. Six of Cups. With the sun. Okay, so some earth sign has feelings for you. Some earth sign. Okay, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. They could be trying to communicate something big. This could be a confession. Six of Cups with the sun. That's like, you make me happy. I feel a connection with you. I'm happy when I'm around you. Could be a friend for some of you. Ace of Cups. Show me this Ace of Cups. Justice. Could be a Libra or a Gemini. Whoa, justice with lovers. And we have the three of wands. <laughs> Ooh, woo. I feel like you may not be worried about this other person here. You could be waiting on something that feels more passionate. Or you could be waiting on a different cup. Ace of Cups with the lovers. It's like, mm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting on something better. Yeah, so you may feel like this could... I, I'm feeling this very strongly. This could be a friendship. Someone in your friendship circle that you may not realize has feelings. Someone is wanting to talk to you. They have feelings for you. But I feel like you could be waiting for something else. <laughs> Show me 
Show me Aries. How is Aries feeling or thinking at this point? Nine of Wands. Okay. King of Pentacles. Ooh. Okay. I don't know. Some of y'all are tired of an earth sign. <laughs> I already said an earth sign energy was coming through. Whew. You could be tired of an earth sign. Hanging man. Okay. Mmm. Knight of Swords. Okay, okay. Ace of Cups. Uh, I said Ace of Cups. <laughs> Ace of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you are looking for something new. Knight of Swords with the Ace of Wands. You're looking for something new. You're ready for, for fun. You want someone fun. Maybe you were stuck on someone for a long time. You were stuck on this one person. Could be an earth sign. Doesn't have to be. But earth sign energy represents longevity. When you have earth sign energy, this king of pentacles. So you may have been stuck on someone for a long time. Or you may have been in a relationship with someone for a long time. And you got over this person or you're getting over this person. You're excited about being single or you know, back in the dating game. And I feel like you want to have fun with the Knight of Swords, Ace of Wands. You're ready to have fun. You're ready to have a good time. You want someone adventurous. You want something new. Whoa, judgment just flipped out. I pulled two, Magician with the Page of Swords. You could have a Gemini spying on you, maybe wanting to come back. Judgment with the uh, Magician and the Page of Swords. You have someone who's spying, watching. Who is this person watching or spying? Three of Pentacles, maybe someone who wants to work out something with you or someone you dated at one point in your life. You could have lived with this person. I just got that as well. Again, I'm getting also friendship group, like someone in your friendship circle is watching you. Five of Swords, Six of Swords. Oh, they're trying to, it's almost like uh, like someone circle, circling you, watching you. Five of Swords with the Six of Swords. It's like they're trying to proceed with caution, walking on eggshells. They're staying kind of cloaked. You see this person has a hood on, like with a robe. It's like this person is cloaked. So you may not know how much they're kind of spying on you or watching. This person watch, I, I just feel like they watch you a lot. Ooh. Watching you closely. What do they want to say? What are their intentions or what do they want to say to Aries? Four of Pentacles. Okay. Five of Wands. Okay. Ten of Wands. This person. Okay. <laughs> it could be a Capricorn for some of you. Devil Energy with the Nine of Cups. Seven of Swords. It could be a Virgo as well. I'm getting strong Earth sign, you guys. Aries, there's an earth sign here. Could be a Sag for some of you. Younger fire. Queen of Pentacles, Hermit. Seven of Swords with the devil energy. I'm feeling like this person has a lot of desire for you. It's like very obsessive thoughts, passionate thoughts. But they hold back. They could be afraid of competition with the energy of the Four of Pentacles, Five of Wands. Ten of Wands. They're a bit overwhelmed. They may feel like you... This is, I think this came off of you last week for the singles read. So someone could see that you get a lot of attention or they feel like you don't really notice them. This person is obsessive. Very obsessive thoughts over you. Devil with the Nine of Cups. They're thinking dirty thoughts, wild thoughts about you. Very dirty mind. <laughs> Woo! Okay, Aries, you are affecting this person. Yeah, anything else Aries should hear or know about this person? Knight of Wands. Yep, yeah, they're turned on. Could be a Taurus for some of you. Again, strong earth sign energy. They could have earth in their chart as well. Mmm. 
Eight of Swords. Some of you could even work with this person. Mm. Okay, Aries. I, it's I'm almost like this person sees you, like they put you on a pedestal. With the hard font, I'm getting that very strongly. Knight of Wands, they could be a bit younger than you. For some of you, it doesn't have to be. They could also be like a hidden freak. <laughs> <laughs> like this I'm sorry like this person they could hide behind the mask of religion even like they may come off like super spiritual with you or holy or I'm feeling that energy as well this could be someone you go to church with with the energy of the horror font for some of you who go to church but deep down underneath it all underneath them clothes is the knight of wands Okay, freaky, nasty. <laughs> Ooh. Woo. I just see someone really admiring you. This could even be someone who's married. Someone, uh, it could be a cancer for some of you. Seven of Swords. Yeah, a cancer could have secret feelings. Someone who's married could be very into you. I do see that. Page of Cups. They could be trying to sneak and offer you something, kind of flirting with you on the low. They may not want to know that, uh, want you to know that they're married as well. Be careful of that. It'd be, I wasn't getting that in the rest of the reading, but on this part, I am. It's like a bit of a warning. Be, be careful with people who are married, okay? Because I see the hard form with the Eight of Swords. That means that someone could be stuck in a marriage. And trying Seven of Swords with the Page of Cups. Trying to talk to you. Trying to communicate with you. Mm-hmm. Knight of Cups. Someone wants to date. Tower. Kaboom. Nine of Pentacle. Oh, my God. Three of Swords. Yeah. Ooh. You have done something to this person. You have really affected this person, whoever they are. What's going on in this connection? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, what's going, going on in this connection? What does Aries need to hear or know? What's, okay, what flipped out? Third wheel. <gasps> okay. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> You see how it wants to like flip out of my hand? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Be careful of, of being in a third party with someone. I I just picked that up and look what came out. Did anything else flip over? Okay, I was just making sure. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, what does Aries need to hear and know about this situation with this person? Yeah, someone who, I'm telling you, someone who's married or already taken. Someone has their eye on you. They're trying to reach out to you. But it's like you're moving on. You already know this about this person. Maybe you have feelings for this person at one time. Okay. What's going on? Strategy. Yeah, you need to be wise. Be careful because this person may be trying to use strategy on you. Evidence. Yeah, get proof. If you don't know anything about this person, get proof. It says detection, investigation, proof, evidence. Y'all, uh-uh. Now, some of you who are not dealing with someone who's married or in a relationship... You could have found out something about someone who you really had feelings for. Okay? You found out something. Yeah, and you got played. Some of you found out that you got played marionette. Someone was trying to play you like a puppet on, on strings. Uh-huh. Dictatorship, domination, reluctance. Yeah, someone could have tried to dictate to you or dominate you. Ooh, one more. Mask. 
Yeah, someone tried to mask something here. It says deception, pretending, and inconstancy. Someone was very inconsistent. Maybe their their stories wasn't it wasn't matching up. You were finding out that someone was inconsistent with the truth. Someone could have been very deceptive, but it's okay because you're about to gain. Okay? You're about to gain. So whoever is trying to bring you into a third party or someone, you know, they thought that you would play along and be okay with being in a third party. Oh, the answer is no. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. Anything else Aries should hear or know at this time? Anything else? Someone. Aries. Okay. Okay, I, I don't know what else to say. This is damn near the same fucking card that came out with Third Wheel. It says someone is in the middle. Someone is trying to sabotage this. So for others of you, if, if you are moving on to someone new, someone doesn't want you to move on. Someone is trying to keep you stuck with them. Could be a very narcissistic energy. Someone is rooting for you to fail. Be careful. Gambling is here. Problems with addiction or gambling. Bad finances. Yeah. Someone could have been in a connection with you. Maybe they had a problem with gambling, making bad choices. Okay. They gambled this connection with you. And one more. Date night. Yeah. See, this is what I feel. Uh-huh. This is what I feel. Some of you are getting ready to be wined and dined. You're, you're getting back out there in the dating game. But spirit is also cautioning you. Be careful here. It says, find out more information. Don't overwork yourself. So you need to be aware. Spirit, this feels like a big warning. It's like you need to be aware of who is trying to come back into your life. Be aware. Don't accept anyone's sad story or, you know, oh, I miss you. Hey, big head. How you doing, big head? All that kind of stuff. No, honey, do your research. Because some of these people are married and looking for you know, a good time with someone outside of their marriage, outside of their relationship. Be careful of getting pulled into something that will be detrimental to you. Some of you, if you're dating new, that may be the best thing is to date new. Alrighty, Aries, that is your energy. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monet Tarot. I do look forward to hearing from you. If this reading resonated with you, put it in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Take care. Bye.